overview. So uh, when a person uh, drop off, uh, so all the assets will be uh, frozen in general. Uh, then what happens is that usually you got two situations. So a person can uh, you know, drop off without a will or the person have, uh, have a will. Okay, so this is very general. So when a person dies without a will, then they have to apply for letter administration. If it's in West Malaysia and in Sabah, then they have to go to uh, apply for this uh, letter administration in the High Court if the gross asset is uh, above 2 million ringgit. Okay, if it's below 2 million, then you go to what we call the small uh, asset uh, administration uh, process where you can go to the land administrator if there is a property. If there's no property, just only liquid cash and investment, they can go, go to this uh, Amana Raya. Okay, on the right hand side, uh, we recommend people to uh, have uh, your own uh, planning with uh, at least a will. If a person dies with a valid will, then the next of kin or the executor appointed in the will will go and apply for this, uh, what we call the grant of probate. Okay, so on the left hand side, when a person dies without a will, then the economic, uh, the legal block will be, 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 be uh, more serious because uh, in the, this uh, probate administration act, applied to West Malaysia and Sabah, then you need to have a uh, surety, means uh, two guarantors uh, together with an administration bond equal to the value of the deceased estate. So this is uh, 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 the heavy stuff that uh, you have to go through if you don't uh, plan with a will. Okay, so for people, in, especially in West Malaysia and Sabah, you must have a will. In Sarawak, uh, because our law is a bit different, we follow the state law here, we don't go to uh, high court. We just go to our public, uh, this uh, probate office. Okay. So in this, uh, whether in this uh, uh, letter administration or this kind of probate, you will have to appoint a person called a representative. Okay. You should put it this way: a person die or cease uh, the existence in this world, uh, huh? So then you need a representative to step into your shoes to continue doing your job. Okay. For example, your assets, including your property, all are under your name already. But you're normal in this world, then somebody has to step into your shoes and uh, continue the work. So what happens is this representative, if it's uh, under left-hand side, it's called administrator, or this one is executor, then have to look for your assets and then uh, inform all the creditors and pay off the expenses, including the unpaid income tax. And uh, secured creditors are like, for example, the, your mortgages that you, uh, you, uh, you get it from the bank. Okay, where your property is uh, charged uh, or mortgage to the bank, then you have to settle it off before uh, the property can be discharged and then uh, given or distributed to your beneficiaries. Okay, so once the uh, 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 executor or the administrator pay all the expenses, then only then you can uh, distribute the net uh, estate to the uh, beneficiaries. Okay, for beneficiaries, sorry, so beneficiary, if you have a will, then you will, uh, would have. Uh, listed them down in your will. A person die without a will, then they will follow Distribution Act uh, 1958, which I'll give you some detail. And uh, if uh, you are Muslim, then you follow the Farai, which I'll also give you a little detail afterwards. Uh, huh? So just bear with me a bit of